When I think of cold weather animals, I think of penguins. They seem to love their icy environment and they swim around in freezing water without a care. How do they do it? How do they swim through that water and not suffer ill effects? Let's find out. Penguins live in one of the most hostile environments in the world. That means that they live in a place that's not very warm or friendly and not a lot of other animals can live there. In order to survive in that Antarctic environment, penguins need to have adaptations. Adaptations is a way of saying that animals change their bodies and their behaviors to make it easier to live in that environment. Penguins have tons of adaptations that mean that they can live in the Antarctic where we never could. What are some of those adaptations? Well, emperor penguins have four layers of feathers on their coats. These feathers create a windproof, waterproof barrier between themselves and the cold. They also have a special area in their nose that helps them to avoid losing heat when they breathe. And have you ever seen those huge groups of penguins all smushed together? Those groups of penguins are called a waddle and they are smushed together for a reason. By standing in that huge huddle, they can share any heat that their bodies make. Plus, the penguins in the middle of the group are protected from the wind. Those penguins take turns being in the middle so that everyone is protected for a little bit. All of these are ways that penguins' bodies and behavior protect them from the cold, and that means that they can live in environments that we can't. But there's more. Today, we're going to be looking at an adaptation that some penguins and tons of other animals like whales, seals, and walruses all have. We're going to talk about blubber and how it protects animals. Look at these roly-poly chunky penguins. Underneath their skin, penguins have a layer of blubber. Blubber is a thick layer of fat right under the skin that covers our penguin friends. When they jump in the icy water, the blubber acts kind of like a blanket, keeping the cold out and keeping their insides toasty warm. This blubber is so important that about 30% of their body mass might be made up of blubber. That is a lot of space to dedicate to one thing. So does it really work? Does it keep the penguins warm? Let's try it out. Here's what we'll need for our blubber observation. Large bowl of icy water. Go about half water and half ice. A quart or gallon sized Ziploc bag and a smaller sandwich sized Ziploc bag. Shortening, I'm gonna use I think about three cups. I have butter flavored shortening and that'll work but plain old white shortening would absolutely work too. I just had butter. And a rubber band to close off the top of our glove. Here's how we're gonna make our blubber glove. Put as much shortening as you can in the larger bag. Once you get that all in there, put a smaller bag on your hand and push down into the shortening. Our goal is to have a wall of shortening around your whole hand. Once that wall is formed, there's your blubber glove. Once that glove is made, we can start observing. Take that bowl of cold water and dunk your naked hand in. Don't leave it in too long. The cold water can actually hurt your hand that's one of the reasons penguins need that blubber. Pull your hand out and think about how it feels. Is your hand cold? It might even be stinging just a little bit. Keep that in mind as you're putting the blubber glove in. Now we're gonna try that icy dip again, but with the glove. Slide your hand in and put a rubber band at the top to keep the water out. Dip your hand in the water. How does your hand feel? It doesn't really feel cold, right? Just like the walls of our house, blubber makes a wall around your hand, keeps the cold out. So penguins have tons of adaptations that make them perfect for that frosty environment. And all animals have different kinds of adaptations to make life easier for them wherever they live in the world. Some of them are adapted to the cold, some to the desert, some for the ocean. Whatever the animal, you can bet that it has special adaptations. If you want to learn more about penguins, make sure to watch the whole penguin playlist. We have a craft, we have sensory bins, we have fun facts, and tons of cool picture books. 
we have all kinds of cool stuff about penguins. And make sure to subscribe because we do a different unit every month with all kinds of stuff. Have a great day and stay warm out there, friends.